Hey guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. All right, guys, today we are dining at Tusker House Character Meal yes. for lunch. And we are super excited. Um, this is kind of like an African inspired like food and I've seen that Mickey and friends like they are in their cute little safari outfits so we're super excited to give you guys a review and uh, let you know our thoughts of what we think. Alright we are at Tusker House and we got our first kind of like appetizer-y whatever. Um, it is a family style meal so everything that they bring out to you um, is just stuff that you, you share and you can always get more of anything that you want. But we got a salad um, with like this like vinaigrette, cucumber, onion stuff that you put on top. And then we got a bread service with um, three different types of dipping sauces and it all looks amazing. The bread service dipping sauce stuff kind of looks like the thing you get at Sanaa. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably the same thing. I'm not but we're gonna try some. We'll get back to the food in just a second. Currently, character meals are socially distanced greetings with the characters. This means no hugging or autographs, but you are still welcome to interact and take lots of selfies. At the end, they gave us a really nice postcard with the characters, pictures, and autographs as a souvenir. They also have a breakfast meal that is a little better for your pickier eaters if you are still wanting to dine at this experience. Wow, I am stuffed and we're not even totally done yet. As you have seen, we have pretty much demolished our food. Um, so the salad was delicious. It was very fresh and the vinaigrette um, that they put on top is really, really light and tangy and very, very good. The bread service was delicious. The rolls were nice and warm and the sauces were really great. Um, it really did remind me a lot of the bread service at Sanaa, if you've ever had that. Um, and then he brought out all of our food. So we had, there was like a, like roasted chicken. There was a steak with like chimichurri looking sauce on it. There is some pork with um, like potatoes and rice and veggies and all that stuff. There was also mac and cheese. And then there was like a, a jasmine curry shrimp thing that was so good. That was probably my favorite. The shrimp was definitely my favorite. It was very sweet and it had kind of like, it reminded me of like a coconut curry, which I think might actually be what it is. Um, but that was delicious. The steak was really good. It was cooked very, very well. Um, the pork was a little bit dry. It wasn't bad, but um, that was a, probably my favorite. I didn't try the chicken, but Mark Allen did, and he said that that was his favorite, but I'll let him talk about that in a minute. And the potatoes were also probably my other favorite. And of course, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. But like overall, I'm so pleased with this character dining. The characters are really fun. Um, their costumes are cute. The food is delicious. It's really great if you want something like a little bit different than like just normal, whatever. Like it's a little African inspired, but it's not like too out there crazy that picky eaters wouldn't like it. There's definitely something here that everybody will enjoy. So yeah, kind of like what Kayla said, I really, really enjoyed the chicken. Like the chicken was really good. I do agree with Kayla that the pork was a little bit dry, but my favorites, like I said, the chicken, but the bread service, like the rolls, are so good. They're kind of like a sweet roll, not like Hawaiian roll. I wouldn't go that far, but they're very good. All the sauces are really, really good. 
love that. And the mac and cheese. Yeah, like what Kayla said, if, if you're wanting like a character meal that's a little bit different in terms of like different flavors, this is a great option that's not your like your stereotypical like I don't know theme park food if that makes sense um, the characters are super fun to see in their little safari outfits um, and this is the only spot really that you can see them currently in those outfits so it's a win-win All right, so dessert just got here, and it looks so cute. There's a lemon chocolate cake, there's a chocolate caramel brownie, and then there's a vanilla cupcake. Um, I kinda wanna try the lemon cake thing first. Mm. I don't get a ton of lemon in that. It's more like chocolate, but it's like a really light chocolate. That's pretty good. Let's try this brownie. Nice and chocolatey. That's delicious. Can't go around with a brownie. It just tastes like a basic brownie, but it's super good. I really like the cupcake, actually. The frosting is like an orange frosting, and so it kind of has like a fruity taste to it. That's so good. I'm pleased. These are delicious. This is such a great breakfast. Also, there's Mickey Mouse right there. Hi, Mickey. You're back again. <laughs> Can we take a picture this time? Here, you want a, you want a bite? I know. I mean, we could share. Wow. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna go in the same order that Kayla did. I'm not sure if I like that one. It's a little bit of a weird texture. The texture is kind of weird. It's like kind of there's like. A gelatinous, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a bad word to describe that, but it's like there's some gelatin likeness in it. I don't yeah. We'll see if I get in the middle and I and I change my opinion, but ooh, this uh, brownie is very like dense. It's a very good brownie. It's very dense, very rich. Um yeah, really good. Good chocolate flavor, can't go wrong. That frosting tastes exactly like a cream sickle. It's very good. And there's, I'm gonna eat the ears. I think the cupcake is a clear winner here. Close second out of the brownie. I, the brownie's pretty good. Goofy's back there. He's gonna make his way over. I will say, so we've been here probably about an hour. We've kind of taken our time and uh, we had lunch with a friend. It's nice because they like, we've seen most of the characters once already and they're starting to make their way back through. So you'll definitely have some good time to see them. Wow, what a fun character meal. That was a ton of fun. We loved that. That was so like, it was really cute and the food was delicious. I loved it. It was, it was excellent. Like the food was really, really good. Yeah. Um, there was a couple things that like, were just okay, but not like great, I guess. Um, nothing bad by any means. No, I liked everything. There was yeah. some stuff that was better than others, but I think that's to be expected yeah. whenever you have kind of those family style, like multi food item right, meals. Right. Um, but yeah, overall, highly, highly, highly recommend. And if you are interested in booking this restaurant for your next Disney vacation, I would be happy to help you add it to your itinerary when you book with me. I'm a travel agent with Goofy Getaways and um, you can find more information on how I can help you out in the description box below. But other than that, that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your ever after. after. Five, six hundred dollars for like, okay. Sorry, I had to think of my words, okay. Okay. That was a ton of fun. Yeah. Oh. Wow, what a fun character. Hold on, do that again, I was like. <laughs>